When you don't get to hold your baby, you know that they're yours, but they don't feel like they're yours because you can't do all the usual things. They cry, but you can't pick them up and you can't, you can't hold them. And it just goes against everything that you feel you should be able to do as a mother. I feel like I'm holding my breath. I was thinking about booking a holiday for next year, but I won't because I don't know if I'll book it for four people or five. This is the most helpless I've ever felt as a father. It's just, you can't do anything. Your, your lives are literally in the doctor's and nurse's hands. And you've just got to sit there and wait. And it's excruciating. She's born at this size, she might have a matter of days to live, and then you'd have to say goodbye to her. Um, she's safe in there. Mm. I just have a, an overwhelming sort of, you know, sense of I've got to be strong. Even though it's hurting me as well, I've got to be strong to keep her together. So we're 1.8. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really good news. Yeah, happy. Very. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby. All those times that you've just been sat there looking at her, wishing that you could hold her, and then when you get to, it just, it, it feels right. It really does. It's, it's the best thing. being able to just hold her and talk to her. It just makes everything worth it. I rely a lot on hope and faith. I have faith in her. She's, she's a fighter. She really is.